Go to JessCurtisGravity.org and you'll see your tax dollars at work. Jess Curtis Gravity is a San Francisco-based arts organization that, according to its website, and we quote here, creates, produces, and presents engaging body-based art that physically explores and addresses issues and ideas of substance and relevance to anyone with a body. Yeah, it really says that. Follow the gallery link and you'll see that the engaging body-based art consists in large measure of naked people intertwined with one another. In other words, highbrow porn. I call your attention to Jess Curtis Gravity only because the organization is one of many arts organizations that has received funding from the National Endowment for the Arts, the NEA. The NEA is one of the line items in the federal budget that Donald Trump wants to eliminate entirely. The left is already howling. Cutting funding for the arts is unthinkable, they cry. We need federal funding for the arts in order that inner city children might channel their otherwise sociopathic impulses into uplifting endeavors that will free them from poverty. Cutting funding for the arts will cause art museums and symphony orchestras across the country to fold. Besides, they say, the NEA consumes such a tiny percentage of the federal budget, why not leave it alone? Well, here are three reasons why not. One, if the NEA is such a force for good, generous Americans will support it through private donations. Two, there have been countless stories published on waste and corruption at the NEA. And three, cutting funding for things like the NEA will demonstrate that Congress is at last actually willing to stop spending money on something. A vital first step for a nation $20 trillion in debt. That's my word. What's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter at Paul Gleiser.